are struggling on low incomes. It's a record and a reality that's taking an increasingly heavy toll on families. In the first of our two-part series, I travelled to Denver to see the tough choices many are being forced to make. Winter in America and the chill from an economic crisis that began three years ago has set in. Denver, Colorado is a brash can-do place that grew rich on energy and mining. But when night falls, the other America emerges from the shadows. Grim streets where drug dealers and prostitutes tout for business around strip joints and seedy motels. And this is also where you'll find America's new homeless. Entire families who've lost everything, hunting for a room for the night. We are what we do, because you're going to want to read through that. Like Angelo and his family, checking into a motel run by the charity Volunteers of America. And there's coffee and stuff in there, too. Okay. 239. He's a single father with three kids. He's lost his job, and earlier today, they were kicked out of their house. With nowhere else to go, this is their new home. It's hard. It's rough. It's unforgiving. Nobody's going to help you, really, except yourself. That's the only help that's really there for you. That's what I believe. The really shocking thing about Angelo's story is just how common it is. Accurate figures are difficult to come by, but it's thought as many as three and a half million Americans need shelter like this at some point in the year. And increasingly, it's families who are being made homeless. It doesn't get much harder than this. Robert and Victoria and their six children have been living in the motel for weeks. From dawn to dusk, it's a scene of well-oiled chaos in two cramped rooms. Robert lost his job this autumn, and like many others, the couple don't have the cash to pay the rent, let alone a mortgage. You know, we had a home, we had a yard for our kids to play in, we had two dogs, you know, two wonderful dogs that we don't have anymore. Um, and able to cook, and now, I mean, I used to make dinner every night, and now I can't even cook for my family. That's hard. I just miss, I just miss our, our life, you know? Um, I don't I'm, think that we deserve this, you know, but at the same time, just like, it's life, you know? Oh, mama, said sister. What marks these families out is they've never been homeless before. They've struggled to keep a roof over their heads and failed. There may be signs the economy's improving, but the story on the ground is so very different. My kids know that we're not going to have much of a Christmas this year. And they're OK with that, huh? As long as we have each other. And actually, Raylan, this one. She told me, she's like, Mom, even if we do get presents, can we just wrap them and give them to the other kids that need them? The family of victims of a slowdown no one seems able to control. And for growing numbers of people, this is where their American dream ends. <laughs> 